bad boys, what you gonna do? Mm, num num come for you. What? This is the actual lyrics. True story. End of Watch. Now, End of Watch kind of feels like one of those found footage type movies, but it's not completely a found footage type movie. And it has to do with a couple of patrol cops in LA. Probably the toughest job that ever existed in the history of life. Or at least most frustrating. They're partners, they're on patrol, they're going around, and Jake Gyllenhaal's recording it for one of his college credits, and so we're sitting in the biz with them. Now, like I said, it's not completely a found footage movie. There are scenes where they kick in a door and the camera's on the other side of the door, but it still looks found footage-ish. Like, moments like that, I'm like, what was someone recording on the other end of the door? So it's not completely a found footage type movie, so you gotta know that going into it. And in the end, it's probably a good thing. I'm sick and tired of these found footage gimmicks. I just want a good movie. Turns out, End of Watch is actually a good movie. First of all, you have Gyllenhaal and Pena, and the two have Crazy insane chemistry. In terms of cop chemistry, these two are pretty much the top of the line. They got the Harrison Ford, Sean Connery chemistry going on in this movie. So you're like, oh, this is legit. You feel like they're really cops. I mean, you, I imagine cops in the real world are gonna watch this movie and be like, that ain't how we do it. But you know what? As we civilians watch the movie, it's pretty legit. And there are a couple of hot head cops. They're good at their job. The department recognizes it. They get a lot of props, so they do something else. They get another big bust. And Gyllenhaal starts getting more arrogant until they start pissing off the wrong people. And in this movie, you got some Mexican cartel operating. These are the guys where I was like, these guys are kind of cartoony sometimes. They're really intense, they're really insane, and they're recording all of it. First of all, do bad guys record their shit? Isn't that just like a dumb bad guy thing to do? These professional Mexican cartel types that butcher and torture people, they're gonna record them blowing people away? I, I don't get it. Not that I don't get it, I just don't buy it, I guess. They're really intense, dude. Are they in each other's faces, in each other's shit? You're like, dude, calm down. And there are a couple of scenes when a fleet of dudes with AK-47 Sevens just unload on a couple people and no one gets hit and you're like nobody nobody got hit that's like you're getting into gi joe cartoon territory right there where it's like, it's like the bullets are flying or laser guns or whatever no one gets hit but what really brings it home is the fact that you feel like you're riding along with these two cops they address that being a cop has a lot of paperwork which it does but they don't concentrate on the paperwork you get all the fun of being a cop and some of the frustration and the shit that you don't want to see you know the realism of being a cop also with none of the realistic paperwork that's just a win-win right there anna kendrick's in this movie she's always cool she's always hot never hurts to be both but yeah I loved her in this movie. What can you say about Anna Kendrick except, yep, she did it again. It does have that chick from Magic Mike though and immediately when I saw her, my mood dropped. I don't know why, I, I was just like, I hate your face. She has this stoic look on her face, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like she just has too much food in her mouth, like she's just not impressed. She makes the Twilight chick look like she has Haley Joel Osment's acting talent from like 1999. She's not in it much, so you know, you deal with it. In the end, I had fun with End of Watch. I loved the main characters in End of Watch. Gyllenhaal and Pena had insane chemistry. I loved them. As a cop movie, I thought it was great. Cop movies usually you're like, yeah, I've seen this before. This is fresh, it was a lot of fun, and it takes place in LA, so you know you're gonna see some shit. I'm gonna say, I I would buy End of Watch on Blu-ray. Thought it was a great cop movie. What I would expect from the writer of Training Day. All right, so what is your favorite cop movie of all time? Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.